everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie or She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout for the Erica Rose Creates design team using her divided circle cut file. I will be using the new Summer Vibes collection from Echo Park. So I decided to fill in three of the spots with photos. And so I kind of have you watch how I line it up and trace it, but then don't really make you watch me glue it down and cut it out. So I have three summer photos. So there are two of them. Two of the three have a really pretty sunset that really kind of picks up the oranges of this collection. And I thought it was the perfect one for my photos. So now that I have my photos done, I'm going to then fill in, um, five of the spots with pattern paper. Um, I'm leaving the four spot from the photos open for a shaker pocket. So um, again, kind of a split up video because backing a cut file is quite boring if you ask me. Um, so all I'm doing is tracing it, cutting it, gluing it, and then trimming off the excess. I know some people are good with their crickets or their silhouettes and actually can figure out how to um, cut out the inner pieces with the cricket, with the specific papers that they want. I haven't figured that one out yet. Maybe someday I will, but this is just kind of the way that I back them for now. So with this, well, I will say almost last piece because I don't fill in the last, last opening. I actually use the pattern paper that is my background paper for that last piece. Um, but I cut a piece of acetate that I got from Michaels. I actually just had to restock that. It's a little six by six pad that I get from Michaels. Um, so I cut that the shape of the shaker, used my very thin tape from um, Amazon and put the foam tape there so that then I can fill in the inside before I place the back page on it. This part took me a little while because I used a bunch of different sequin mixes from Not Just For Boys Kit Club and picked out the colors that I thought would match this collection the best. Um, I think there were three or four different um, mixes that I kind of chose from. And again, it just took quite some time to pick out each individual um, sequins and put it in there. So now that that's all done. I took the backing off the foam tape and then added just a white background to the shaker. Um, I wanted, you know, all of those different colors of sequins to really show. So that's why instead of like a darker paper or a pattern paper, I just chose white. Um, I then decided to pop this entire circle up on foam tape. So again, this took a little bit as well, um, just to use all the large kind of longer pieces. I didn't put any foam tape on the shaker pocket because that was already kind of lifted up and I didn't want um, it to be uneven, I guess. So you can see that I left the middle and then that one kind of on the bottom left open uh, for the background to show. I end up using the um, slice, I guess I'll call it, um, on the bottom left for a title. I kind of place my title there. Um, and then you will see that, um, I don't know, I, I felt like I struggled with embellishing while I was creating the layout. Um, there are just so many places that I thought would be good options and I I just didn't want to over embellish, I guess. Um, you know, there's a lot of pattern papers. The photos are beautiful with the sunset there and I just didn't want to over embellish, but I wanted enough that it didn't look blank either. Um, I actually went into my stash to try to find a title um, and found a 49 and market chipboard, um, pack, I guess that said friends. And I thought that was really fun. Um, you can see lots and lots of kids in the pictures. I think this might've been end of summer 2020 or even fall of 
2020. There was a good amount of time beginning of fall that was warm enough that we went to the beach um, with friends. Uh, We were actually just talking about this summer the other day, my friend and I, and how amazing of a summer it was. None of us had to work and so we just got to enjoy the beach with each other and just relax and since then she's gone back to work and life's just gotten busy with all of the kids getting older and we haven't had the time like we did then to really spend together at the beach. So this was definitely a summer to remember even though the world was going crazy, I guess you could say. Um, So with the friends, I did find a sticker on the sticker sheet that says summer. At this point, I had only bought the collection um, kit. I didn't have any extra pieces. So I think that's kind of why I struggled as well, just having the sticker sheet to go off of. I did pull out some, um, I can see some flares from Scrap and Happy Studio there, just really trying to figure out and kind of piece together this layout. I decided I didn't love that middle open. Um, I felt like if I added a green, it would give me more options of embellishing maybe. Um, So what I ended up doing is cutting that with a die. I kind of sized it out with my dies and then cut it out. And luckily, because I popped it up on foam tape, I was able to kind of sneak it in there and tape it down. Um, And that just kind of, I thought, helped finish off um, maybe the layout a little bit more. Um, Brought in another color, another pattern, but not overly busy. You can see that the patterns I picked are smaller, um, so they're not kind of crazy. They're just subtle patterns, and I feel like that really works for um, this layout here. So here you can see I did the one cluster up the top, one down in the bottom left, the title. And then I thought, you know, I kind of liked this at the bottom right and maybe the top left. Um, So I'm kind of playing around with some of the pieces. There's just so many good sticker options in this layout or this collection, especially the colors and everything. Um, And so I chose a camera, another kind of paddle board down in the bottom right, the beach bag and the flip flops on the top. And then because it's popped up on foam tape, I found kind of like a floral, summer floral cluster and snuck that behind there. And I like the dimension that gives. Um, So this on the bottom right so far, I did have to pop that um, a couple of like the edges up on foam tape there so that they were even. Um, And then I still, even after adding these two clusters, I just didn't feel like it was done. Um, That middle circle, I just felt like was kind of open. And so um, just kind of seeing what I have and what might work. I knew that bottom right cluster wasn't done yet. It needed a third piece. So I found just a plain colored, flare from Scrap and Happy Studio and snuck that down there. Um, You can see again, just really trying to figure out what to add. I did go into my stash and find just a small navy heart um, to add on top of that flare down there. Um, I think I do end up replacing it uh, at the end, but with another heart. I think one of the chipboard hearts I end up using. Uh, So now you can kind of see I'm thinking about a floral cluster in there. Again, kind of layering pieces um, underneath the cut file and on top of the cut file. Um, I did like having that floral there, but didn't love that floral that I had there. So instead, I swapped it out with the one that was on the top and liked that one a lot better. Added the sunglasses on top of um, the cut file there, and then just kind of finishing pieces, I guess. I had a couple of navy hearts, um, the chipboard hearts from the 49 and Market collection, and so I'm kind of adding those throughout, um, and that's why I end up replacing the uh, other smaller heart with down on the bottom eventually. I don't know, Uh, but you can see I just not sure that that cluster is done either. So I found some sunscreen and I thought that was a cute layering piece in the middle. Um, so I do end up adding that. Uh, and then I go back to the title as well because I have the beach ball there. But just feel like maybe that could use a little bit more down there. Um, 
here's the chipboard heart I'm gonna add. I just kind of like to have the same pieces in each cluster. That other heart was just so small and so I decided to change it out with a little bit bigger um, chipboard heart. I like those plain colored uh, enamel epoxy nope epoxy flares oh my goodness I think they're epoxy flares um because you can add on top of it and not worry about covering up a pattern or the image that's on it so that's really cool I did add another floral to that cluster in the bottom right again just trying to keep kind of the same pieces in each cluster um I don't have a floral cluster per se in that top right cluster but there is one on that paddle board so I felt like that was okay um just something I try to do not always but some most of the time I would say so once I kind of add some more floral pieces to the title that is going to finish that off um, I will link Erica Rose create shop down below use the code Melanie for 15% off that includes the cut files and the kits that she has in her shop so definitely check that out but I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time bye guys